Hi, I'm Anthony Romrell, and welcome to this video with Maya Training, and we're going to work on this pig character. I left off on creating some UVs, and I've made some changes to the UVs. So I'm going to go over here to the UV Texture Editor and show you what I've done. Right here, I want to point out that this section right here are the eyes and I've made it larger because eyes, hands, ears, different parts of the body can be used as emphasis areas. So I'm going to emphasize the eyes and I'm going to make, I also made the ears a little bigger so I can add emphasis to them, but most importantly let's focus on this area. So by emphasis I mean you, you notice how small the letters are and the squares of the texture compared to how, how large these are. This just means I'm using more texture space and I can have more detail. And as I zoom in and out, I also have greater resolution. So what it'll, in essence it'll make it do is make the whole pig appear to have higher resolution. So this is my new UV layout. Well, what I do is um, talk about assigning materials. So I'm going to right click over here and make a change to one of my icons to the hyper shade slash perspective and I want to tell you different ways to assign materials to in Maya first of all let's focus on Lambert 1 Lambert 1 is the default material you should try your best to never use it in fact I recommend never using it at all it is because it's the default material anytime you import or export an object it'll default to Lambert 1 and override any materials you have so right here I have a material called Lambert 2 and Lambert 2 I'm going to just rename it to pig UV grid and you can see uh, a way to change materials is if I want it to be the default material just middle mouse drag Lambert 1 to the pig it'll become Lambert 1 and middle mouse drag this newly named pig UV grid to the pig. Now if you cannot see the textures by default it's because you're not in the right mode. You, you are probably in wireframe or you're in shaded mode. You need to hit 6 to go into texture shading mode. I've created another material here. This is right now it's default Lambert 3. I'm going to rename it to pig underscore color and I'll name it MAT for material and I'll mill mouse drag it and you can see I already have a previously painted material or a texture from Photoshop that I did a little bit earlier and I'll talk a little bit more about a Photoshop Maya pipeline so this is my pig one way you can assign a new material is simply go over here if I wanted to grab a new Lambert it's just middle mouse drag this new Lambert onto my pig and you could see it's created a new Lambert here for me I'm going to delete some of this extra material that I have and I'm going to delete my some of my textures I'll have to do a little bit of relinking but that's okay I'd like to show you so Lambert 6 for example, that's how you assign a new one. I'll delete that and you can see I deleted my pig color material. I'm going to reassign my pig color material. If I hit 6 you can see my texture has been disconnected. That's because I deleted it earlier. So I'm going to go to texture. I'm going to import a new, a new texture. So there's a couple ways to do that. First I'm going to do is just go to 2D textures and just middle mouse drag a file into my work area right here and I'm also going to go to my materials and drag middle mouse drag my pig color material into my work area and I'm going to make a connection I'm gonna just drag this file to over this material and let it go I'm gonna try that one more time just let it hover Okay, usually that works better than it is, and for some reason, uh, should my hovering is disappearing quite fast, and there it is. 
Okay, so I'm going to hover over it and click on the word color, and it now has connected my this file to the color. I'm going to rename this file to to something like uh, pig texture. I'm going to double click this pig texture, and you can see this icon here. This is to load up a material. Now files must be stored in the same area as the pig. So what I do is I just work in my my file structure. I'm working under in my source images folder under class pig and I'm going to select pig color. Now I have a PSD. I have a Targa. I'm going to work right now with the PSD because it's going to be a working file. And I'll open it. And there you go. There is my PSD. And remember it's previewing because I hit 6. Another way that you can assign a new material to a model is just to right click and I can use I could say I can assign an existing material, say the UV grid. I'll do that again. I can assign an existing material like the pig color or I can say let's assign a new material and I'll bring up a dialog I can simply just click on Lambert 2 and it'll reassign and give me a new Lambert. I'm not going to use that, so I'll delete it and just simply middle mouse drag my pick color material back.